Okay, well, I, th I think we're already into the tutor talk part of our session. And uh, I think, you know, uh, different people may, may want to make a comment about what is happening uh, with them and uh, or raise any points about uh, what they would like to hear at future tutor talks or other uh, concerns that they might have. Uh, just to start the ball rolling, I would like to hear from uh, some of the people who are at the centers about the status of what you see uh, in the future, you know, in terms of opening up further and so forth. David, are you teaching uh, at Hawthorne or online? Both. Hawthorne, we've got morning class going. I haven't started the evening classes yet, or don't know if I will. Um, I'd like to, but I've got lots of classes going online and I've had enough time to do evening classes there also. Um, if any tutors are interested in teaching at Hawthorne, they're, they're welcome. We can, presently I'm just over one class in the morning, Wednesdays and Fridays, two hours, nine to 11. Um, that's mostly because I have other two days a week, I have online classes in the morning. I don't have time, but uh, we could have more. I've got lots of classes in the morning. Okay, thank you. Carol, do you want to add anything to that? I think you mean. Um, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, he's, you know, David's taking the lion's share there at the Hawthorne Center. I'm still t teaching on Zoom. Thank you. Uh, Jim, would you give us a read on what's happening at the Y and, and what you're doing yourself? Jim, I think you're muted. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I met with Kristen a couple weeks ago and asked her about coming back online or in person. And um, she used to just do the volunteers and she used to screen all the students and uh, did a super job. But then when the pandemic came, <clears throat> she didn't have too much to do. So they shifted her responsibilities and they really she's not really doing volunteers but she is doing some now that we're coming back so what she did is got the room we used to use turned it back to us I don't think anybody else is using it and um, we've got classes there Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday um, two, uh, there's another teacher that also uh, shares that office and um, so far, it's been great to just be able to sit down. <clears throat> My classes are usually about four students, and we sit in the room, and, and you know, in person is so much more effective than Zoom. So that's what we've been doing. <clears throat> I don't know if they want to expand it beyond that, but that's where it stands right now. Thank you. Mary, are, are you able to say anything about... Uh... The recent happenings at Wilmington. <clears throat> um, sure. Yes, we recently, um, so I currently have five intermediate students and was very surprised one day when seven new beginning students came. And by beginning, I mean very beginning. They don't speak any English at all, and I don't speak Spanish, so it was quite a conundrum of what to do, but it worked out because um, we have one of the tutors from Toberman who has agreed to help, and she speaks Spanish, and so we're going to have two classes, an intermediate and a beginning, and so that's that's been very helpful. But it's really exciting that they referred their friends and these people want to learn. I mean, these ladies don't know numbers. They don't know anything. They've only been here a few months. And I don't think they have much education, but they want to learn. So I was pretty happy about it. Thank you. Mary, um, how, how did they learn about us? How did they learn? Um, to... 
one of my older students, when Jack and I were working together, have um, kids in a school in Wilmington and they referred their friends. So word of mouth, which is one thing Jack and I talked about, we, in, we were talking about direct mail or anything like that. It seems like it's just the word of mouth that yeah. seems to be working. And the first day they came, they um, they said, if you can find a beginning teacher, we can bring more beginner students here. So it was really a surprise, but it's so far, it's only been a couple weeks, but it's I think it's going to work out. I found that to be very big news because it's been a real drought. Uh, I know that you've tried to find people since during the pandemic years afterwards and so forth. No one was interested. And then suddenly seven people pop up. I mean, yes. it's kind of amazing. Hopefully this is a sea turn. Yes. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see more of that. I don't know. Yes. I don't know either, but I think it's good. It is. It's I'd good. also like to give a shout out to Maggie Vogel, who yes. um, uh, is just, she just was trained last year. She started at Toberman. She is so present, completely present with her students. She is. And um, and so then it turns out that Toberman, we we have, I mean, we're, we're figuring it out. JC um, is coming back. And so Maggie's able to go the two days a week to Wilmington and focus at one place, which I think is is great. But she's just been so willing to <clears throat> take on a lot and of stuff as a new tutor. And when she was filling in for me with my intermediate students, when I came back, I made sure that she, she, she does speak Spanish. But when I'm not there, she only speaks a little bit of Spanish to them, mostly English. And they really, really like her. She has a really good rapport with the students. It's a good thing. She also has a private student that she meets on yeah. Sundays online. 